Hawaii Volcano Hotspots, Fast Motion Clues, and the Hawaiian Emperor Chain Mysterious Bend. This is what we're going to be looking at right here, as you can see. That is, that's the bend that we're going to be looking at. Where, what caused this? And these are the Hawaiian Islands right here, as we know. That's a big island, and that's a hot spot. And this whole area is one plate, the Pacific Plate. Subduction on the west, subduction here on the west coast. And of course, all this is volcanic. Volcanoes here as well. Volcanic Aleutian Islands. Volcanoes here. Japan, Kamchatka, Japan. This trench here. Indonesia, Philippines, and the Hawaiian hotspot. Sorry, that's what we're going to be looking at. We'll start with the mysterious bend in the Hawaiian Emperor chain. And this is by Helmets Association of German Research Centers on FIS.org. The Hawaiian Emperor chain is an example of a hotspot track, a trail of volcanoes. The volcanic islands of Hawaii represent the youngest end of an 80 million year old and roughly 6,000 kilometer long mountain chain on the ground of the Pacific Ocean. The so-called Emperor Hawaiian Emperor chain consists of dozens of volcanoes and is well known for its peculiar 60 degree bend. The cause for this bend has been heavily debated for decades. One explanation is an abrupt change in the motion of the Pacific tectonic plate. The opposite model states southward drift of the mantle plume that has sourced the chain since its beginning 80 million years ago. Apparently both processes play an important role, shows a new study in Nature Communications, published by a group of scientists from the University of Oslo, German Research Center for Geosciences, GFC, Potsdam, and Utrecht University. Many volcanic oceans islands are created by columnar-shaped hot upwellings called mantle plumes that originate near the 3,000 kilometer deep base of the Earth's mantle. Mantle plumes are not much influenced by surface motions of the tectonic plates that slowly move over them. Hence, long linear chains of plume-sourced volcanoes that get older and older with increased distance from active hotspots can be tracked for hundreds to thousands of kilometers. In the Hawaiian hotspot trail, the Hawaii Islands are the youngest in the chain that stretches nearly 6,000 kilometers to Detroit Seamount in the Northwest Pacific, where volcanism occurred about 80 million years ago. An unprecedented 60-degree bend characterizes the Hawaiian Emperor Chain, dividing it into the older Emperor Chain and the younger Hawaiian Chain. The bend has been de dated to 47 million years ago. Quote, the ultimate cause for the formation of the Hawaiian Emperor Bend, the HEB for short, was a prominent change in the Pacific Plate motion at 47 million years ago, said the lead author of the new study, Trod Torsvik from the University of Oslo and visiting researcher at GFC at the moment. The team affirms the hypothesis by the U.S. geophysicist Jason Morgan who proposed that already in the early 1970s, quote, but it's not that simple as it was suggested 40 years ago, end quote, Torsvik says. Jason Morgan was the first to use hotspots as a reference frame for global plate motions. In his model mantle plumes, which are manifested by hotspots at the surface, were considered fixed in the mantle, and the Hawaiian Emperor Bend was attributed to a simple directional change of the Pacific Plate. But his plate model was with fixed hotspots became challenged from the 1980s. Quote, Since the late 1990s, it has become clear that hotspots 
are not totally fixed, end quote, said GFC's Bernard Steinberger, one of the co-authors of the paper. That is now generally accepted, he adds. The mantle flow models predict that the Hawaiian hotspot has drifted slowly to the south, but some recent studies have argued that rapid southward motion of a hotspot before 47 million years ago can explain the formation of the bend without requiring Pacific plate motion change, he said. Such a scenario has become attractive because the geology of the plates surrounding the Pacific shows no clear evidence for a Pacific plate motion change. The new study shows clearly why this simply does not work. It would require an unrealistically high rate of hotspot motion of about 42 centimeters a year, which would be much faster than the average speed of tectonic plates. Moreover, this would imply that the emperor chain was created in just 5 million years and Detroit Seamount should only be 52 million years old. This prediction is obviously falsified by the recorded Detroit Seamount island ages of about 80 million years. Alternatively, the slower hotspot motion towards west-southwest could explain both geometry and ages of the emperor chain, says Steinberger. However, such a direction of motion is inconsistent with mantle convection models. Our paper is a good example of how very simple simulations of plate and hotspot kinetics can be used to explore which geodynamic scenarios for the formation of the Hawaiian Emperor Bend are possible and which ones are not, says Pavel Dobrovin of University of Oslo, another co-author on the paper. He says, we cannot avoid the conclusion that the 60 degree bend is predominantly caused by a directional change in the Pacific plate motion. Yet some southward plume motion is required, otherwise the Hawaiian Emperor chain would be around 800 kilometers shorter. Explaining the geometry, length and age progression of the Hawaiian Emperor chain requires both the change in the direction of plate motion and the movement of the hotspot, says Torsvik. So if another more than two decades of debating the end member scenarios of plate motion change versus hotspot drift, geophysicists will be able to argue, to agree, sorry, to agree that neither of the two is satisfactory. Then we can move forward and address a more interesting question. What actually drove the Pacific plate motion to change at about 47 million years ago? Hopefully it will not take another 40 years to get to answer this, he adds. And now we'll talk about the another clue for fast motion of the Hawaiian hotspot. This is by GFZ Geoforsen Zentrum Potsdam Helmets Center. Again, it's the same people, the same university. Again, on phys.org. So the clue, another clue for the fast motion of the Hawaiian hotspot. And we have the uh, the 60 degree bend of the Hawaii Emperor spot uh, showing also Gilbert Ridge, uh, Tuvalu chain, and uh, the Samoan chains. The island chain of Hawaii consists of several volcanoes which are fed by a hotspot. In geosciences, a hotspot refers to the phenomenon of columnar shaped streams which transport the hot material from the deep mantle to the surface. Like a blowtorch, the material burns through the Earth's crust and forms volcanoes. For a long time, it was assumed that these hotspots are stationary. If the tectonic plate moves across it, a chain of volcanoes evolves, with the youngest volcano at the end and the oldest at the other. This concept was initially proposed for the Hawaiian Islands, that are the youngest end of the Hawaiian Emperor chain that lies beneath the northwest Pacific. But soon there was doubt over whether hotspots are truly stationary. The biggest contradiction was a striking bend of about 60 degrees in this volcanic chain, which originated 47 million years ago. If you try to explain the bend with just a sudden change in the movement of the Pacific Plate, you would expect a significantly different direction of motion at that time relative to adjacent tectonic plates says Bernard Steinberger of GFC German Research Center Geosciences. He said, but we have not found any evidence of that. 
Recent studies suggest that apparently two processes were effective. On the one hand, the Pacific Plate, plate has changed its direction of motion, and on the other hand, the Hawaiian hotspot moved relatively quickly southward in the period from 60 to about 50 million years ago, and then stopped. If this hotspot motion is considered, only a smaller change of Pacific Plate motion is needed to explain the volcano chain. This hypothesis is now supported by work in which Steinberger is also involved. First author Kevin Conrad, Oregon State University in Corvallis, Oregon, and his team have evaluated new rock dating of volcanoes in Rurutu volcanic chain, including, for example, the Tuvalu volcanic islands in the Western Pacific. Furthermore, they added similar data from the Hawaiian Emperor chain and the Louisville chain in the Southern Pacific. Based on the geography and the age of volcanoes in these three chains, researchers can look into the geological past and see how the three hotspots have moved relative to each other over millions of years. The new data published in the journal Nature Communication shows that the relative motion of hotspots under the Rurutu and Louisville is small, while the Hawaiian Emperor hotspot displays strong motion between 60 and 48 million years ago relative to the other two hotspots. This makes it very likely that mainly the Hawaiian hotspot has moved, says Steinberger. According to his geodynamic modeling, the Hawaiian hotspot moved at a rate of several tens of kilometers per million years. Paleomagnetic data supports this interpretation, says Steinberger. He says our models for the motion of the Pacific plate and the hotspots therein still have some inaccuracies. With more field data and information about the processes deep in the mantle, we hope to explain in more detail how the bend in the Hawaiian Emperor chain has evolved. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.